Mics on, you got the sneakers. A couple of those. I'd like to see a couple of those this vid. Wow, that is bad. Is it? That is bad. Why well, you need just bad. more spin? That is bad. Why is it bad? It's not even going, it's you're literally doing this. You're spinning it a 180. How do you need? I need a 360. It starts on this side. Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. Bam. That was almost a. Uh... Boom, 540. Are you hitting 520s? I'm doing 540s. I'm doing Sean White. Bam, there we go. Now it's smooth. Bam. Now it's smooth. Bam. What is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Today, man. Today, we got a review for you. We got a few different pairs of shoes for you. The homie Dal Palantonio is sitting in. We just finished recording the podcast a little bit earlier. Anyways, we're going to get into the sneaker review here, man. It's going to be pretty quick, short, sweet, to the point. We've seen a ton of Ultra Boost, so let's jump right into it, man. These, um, This is Dallas's box. You went, what, a size 10.5? 10.5, true to size, my man. On these here, and these are called the uh, Ultra Boost Mid Multicolor Pack, I think. Is that what they're calling them? Yeah. So, oh, this is just empty. You just hand me that's empty fine. box. That's fine, dude. Bang! There we are. The uh, Graspin joints. Yeah. The we Ultra Boost. Road name. Uh, we call them the Graspins because they're a uh, mix between the Kith Aspens and some grass stained Kith Aspens. <laughs> yeah. So that's how those are looking there. Give you guys a nice little look around the shoe. And like I said, man, there's not really a, a ton to say. We reviewed a ton of Ultra Boost, so it'll kind of be more just aesthetics and um, comfort's pretty much the same. There are some changes to the insole though, so we'll go over those. Starting out with the Prime Knit, grass stained looking Prime Knit. This is your pair, and this yep. is your favorite pair of the pack, right? It is, man, yeah, I really like the colors. It's almost like a, I guess it could almost be a, a Seattle Seahawk colorway, kind yeah. of on the faint, yep. you know, with the gray on the heel cup, some of those totally. greens and blues, yep. totally. That's man. what I'm saying, this, this, I, we talked about this before, this bugs me right here, I hate the Royal Blue blue uh, tongue tab and the royal blue pull tab. That yeah. kills the shoe for me. Everything else I really, really like. I just, I'm not a royal blue fan, so I don't think that's gonna be a big deal for a lot of people. Just for me, it's kind of an L. I just don't like it. I don't like royal blue. I wish that would have been a bright, like, Seahawk lime green. I like the lime green the, idea. I think that's fire. Would have been but. dope, but uh, they didn't do it. Unfortunately, we don't get that. I'm gonna pull mine out, too, while you got them here, just so. So this is the Bang! This is the Kuji sweater pair. I almost cracked you right in the dome. This is the Kuji, uh, Kuji sweater joints. Dallas said earlier, made a good reference to these. He called these like the Venoms. Like you got Spider-Man, which is the Kith Aspens, and then you got the evil Kith Aspens, which yeah. is these, which would be like Venom. You know what I mean? So for all my comic book nerds out there, that's kind of the reference we came up to because they kind of do look like a dark Kith Aspen, like a yeah. um, like a darker villain yeah, version no doubt. of the Kith Aspen for sure. Yeah, they've got the ATR stripping along the front here, toe box. Obviously, these aren't listed as ATRs, but they do have that some kind of weather stripping out there. Not to say, I mean, you could trounce through the snow and these are water resistant or anything like that because they're not. Lacing here, if you want to show the laces on those ones. Same as your Kith Aspen kind of laces, but it just matches the Prime Knit. They got those unique rope laces. There are no extra laces that come with either pair. These pairs are going to be pretty Pretty GR, man. Let's be real. Dallas and I have had these pairs for probably since the beginning of the month of October. We've Roughly. just been shitting the bed on the sneaker <laughs> reviews. Yeah. We've been so busy trying to get the podcast going, work our regular jobs, do our normal life shit. So it's good to get back to sneaker YouTube, man. It's good to be pumping out these videos on the weekly, but we have had these for a hot minute. I do uh, anticipate these to go under retail. Oh, guaranteed, man. Yeah, yeah. Boost, bo the Boost hype is dead. Uh, you know, even if it's a, a well sought after unit, if, you, if you're patient, you're going to get Boost under retail. I guarantee these will be under retail. No doubt. Not something that's super hyped. I do want to show you guys the insole though. Pull the yeah. insole out of that one too. This is the biggest change or difference or uh, change we've seen to any Ultra Boost. It's just like a thicker, um, nicer, more... Super archy. Right. Super archy. No doubt. <laughs> a little stiffer and more definitely more archy, no bunker. Yeah. You know, same Boost logo there. Just it feels more padded. It feels almost like an ortholite. Not the squishiness of an ortholite, but the thickness, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. I just know that I have a... Regular boost insole sitting down there with the cookies and cream that I take my boost insole out of and it's just different I compared yeah. the two it just feels different. It's a thicker feeling to it It's definitely probably adds to the comfort and maybe that changes the size of the shoe a little I know on these I had to go I normally wear a 12 true to size I had to go with a 13 because 12 and a half is just unicorn. Yeah, super hard to find Can't in stores it. You went half up Right? Uh, or, no, I know oh, true to size. True. Yeah, I gotta go true to size on my mids, man. This is my sixth pair of mids. Love them, man. They're great. 
um, always go true to size. See, I don't understand that. You were with me in the store and you saw when I put on a true to size 12 in this, mm -hmm. it was just my toe was yeah, busting out the you're front. Busting out, yeah. Busting out the front. And a 12 and a half probably would have been good, but instead I end up with a 13. But I don't understand how I can go put on a 12 and it's busting out the front and you go with true to size and a mm -hmm. 10 and a half yeah. and it's great for you. And have even just a little bit of wiggle room. As Maybe a fact. Yeah. I can't tell you guys what to go with. All I can say is go try them on. They're not going to be uh, yeah. probably hard to, you know, it's, it's not a consortium release. It's not something that's going to be hard to go try on. Yeah, you should be able to find them. That's what I can recommend. Unless you want to just go with advice. If you have a bigger foot like mine, maybe you want to go half up. If you have a smaller foot, maybe from your eight and a half to ten and, ten and, a, half. and a half, maybe go true to size. I'm not sure. I don't know why his fit true to size and why these ones don't. Maybe it's the colorway. Did you try these ones on? No, I didn't actually. Maybe. Darker, darker prime knit Look in the that. past has been Look guilty that. of that. Maybe we just figured it out. Maybe there it's the go. damn colorway. Damn. I don't know for sure. Somebody else maybe want to let us know in the comments. Look at the arch though on that. I'm yeah. impressed. It's super arched up. It looks like you went to the Good Feet store. Actually, yeah. I don't even know if that's relevant. I don't know if all you guys nationwide Custom have Good Feet. Custom orthotic. But it's like a little orthotics place. You can get custom yeah. insoles if you have plantar fasciitis, some bad shit on your feet. That's what that looks like. Or it looks vaginitis. Like a specialized. Huh? Or vaginitis. Go get some custom orthotics. <laughs> Fire. I don't know where he was going with that one. Do you have anything more on these, men? Anything more to say on these? No, nah, easy to get. Mids are one of the most comfortable uh, Ultra Boost, I would say, in the game. I love the Ultra Boost Mid, man. If you can get these under retail, fire. You've got a little bit of resistance for the weather with the ATR stripping. Uh, pretty warm, so great fall winter shoe. Love it, man. Continental outsole on this one, teal torsion. On yours, it's got the white outsole, which I know people don't like. It ain't about that So life. I'll kind of finish up with that. White outsole, blue torsion, matching the blue pull tab and yeah. uh, tongue tab. Oh, the last thing I want to say is that Dallas has kind of got busted. Like you said, you started to wear them. Yeah. And they kind of got a little bit of a... Uh, Call it a muffin top. A little muffin top action. A little muffin yeah. top yeah. action. Good. You know? And uh, I don't have a lot of shoes that muffin top, but these, maybe it's the stripping, maybe it's whatever. I, but we're getting a little muffin top action on mine. Interesting. So that is uh, the grass bin pair, yeah. the grass stain joints. Um, so you like these a little bit better. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. Yeah. I uh, these are growing on me more. I initially yeah. liked these better. I didn't like the blue. I don't know, man. I can't. I can't really decide. What do you guys like yeah. better, man? Leave your uh, comments below. Are you guys gonna cop? Are you gonna wait for them to go under retail or on sale? Mm -hmm. Just because they're on sale doesn't mean they're not good shoes. You yeah. know what I mean, still good shoes, and shoes that were selling out at one time. They're just not that hyped anymore. Yeah. But I still think they're dope either way. Oh my gosh, I almost ended the video. I almost forgot my Mia Adidas came in. Let me go grab those, fool. Oh, fire. Dude, peep these joints out, bruh. Dude, I don't even know what colorway to expect. I don't know nothing about I'm gonna these. I'm going to let you open them. These are so sick. Okay, first wait, of all. So, wait, so these aren't the ones that we designed together? No. Okay. okay. Separate. Because I know those. Separate. These, I gotta give a big shout out to the homie Frankie on these, man. I actually don't even know him in person. I just know him through Twitter. We kind of go back and forth all the time. Debating sports, talking shit, roasting each other. Um, but we still show love too. He's super cool. But he posted these up. Are you gonna tell me you swag jacked this? Oh, I told, I swag jacked him 200%. That's why I'm giving him a shout out right now. I thought the creation he did was so dope. And when Adidas put these on sale, if you didn't know, they had a coupon code where you could go in and create a Mi Adidas Clima for $165. Stupid deal. We talked about it on the podcast. Again, if you're not following the podcast, I don't know what you're doing with your life because we're dropping gems every Tuesday and every Friday, man. You need to be tuned into the podcast, whether you're listening to it on iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, you just got it in your ear while you're walking around shopping at Best Buy, going to the grocery store, running errands for your mom, for your lady, whatever. You need to be peeping the podcast, man. Without further ado, shout outs to Frank. Yeah, I basically just jacked his collab. He posted the ones he was getting. He didn't get them yet. Okay. He just posted a screenshot of yeah, what he created. And I was like, I gotta have those, man. Once they had that discount code, had to have them. Done. Open them up full <laughs> You guys are not ready. You guys are not ready for this. Ooh. Dude. Hold on, hold on. Dude. Hmm. I don't know if these are your style because they're loud. Yeah, man, they are. But What's they're crazy? so they're loud, but they're so blacked out, dog. Yeah. These are so and they got still got the bright orange insole in them. Huh. These are just stupid. Shout out to Frank one more time for these. Just a good creator's eye. They were super dope when I saw the picture on Twitter, but these are just in hand. You would agree, these are just stupid. I'm trying to eat some thin mints. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get some of those. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm trying to get some Andy's mints, dog. If these were, if this was brown down here, it would definitely oh, be thin mints. But it's still thin mints. Some still thin mints. Definitely still thin mints. For minty. sure, man. You know what? That orange doesn't bother me. I think Dude, why would that orange bother you? I don't that know. Shit is sick. I thought I'd be bothered by that because it's so different. Let me show than... you one of the dopest orange uh, pieces of orange on the shoe. Bang, 
boost uh, in orange behind fire. the tongue. Oh. They don't even allow you to customize that. That's just really dope that that be, turns out orange. I just Dang. think it looks sick. And it's blacked out the actual words. Yeah, the words blacked on the Ultra Boost out, and the heel cup. Super out. sick. I might just put these away until summer comes because I don't live in Cali. Torsion? Yeah. Just enough. Yeah. Subtle hints. What's crazy about this too is you get no options on the inside. I think they're all orange. On this drop from the climate uh, customizations, everything, the insole was just orange. I know it was on my other yeah. pair. I'm pretty sure yeah. they're all orange. I Could mean, be. tell me tell me orange. in the comments. Maybe, maybe yeah. I'm off base. Would you want to try to get another pair of laces like somewhere, like in mint? Maybe. Just to have an extra? Maybe. If they matched exactly, yeah. it would be hard to find this exact, exact uh, color. color of mint. You know what I mean? You got the stripes on there. Man. man, these are... They do look really good. Cold, man. dude. I'm impressed. Sucks that you had to swag jack somebody, but... What do you mean? It's worth it. I will never, I will never feel bad about swag jacking somebody. If I think someone has a dope style, I'm not the motherfucker that's gonna sit in the corner and be like, oh, hey, that's, that's yeah. cool. I'm gonna be like, hey, where'd you get that, man? That's super sick. I really like those glasses. I like that coat. I like those sneakers. I'm the kind of guy that's gonna give somebody credit uh, for what they created. This was yeah. a dope creation by Frank. Now, I'm giving Frank all the credit. Maybe he saw it somewhere else and jacked it. I don't know. I don't True. know that he did. I don't know that he didn't. All I'm saying is he's the guy that I saw put these out. Damn, unfortunately, it is dark out and I didn't do an on feet for these. How did we forget that? We shot on feats for uh, Akron and Prestos because we got a video coming. We shot on feats for these Ultra Boosts you're about to see. And uh, we did not shoot these. What are we doing with our lives? Forgot the best. Damn it. Man, these are nice, man. I like them. I was not expecting a colorway like this from you. I just Why? Wasn't. What do you mean? I, I, it's I, loud. It's yeah. bright. It's everything I, just, I love. Oh, dude, I want the nakeds. The ki uh, the oh, naked, I love you know, my nakeds. I want the nakeds all day. I'm just not going to pay naked prices for yeah. them. You know what I mean? My wallet's a little too naked for that. Man, all this black is really nice. And the black, like with the stripes, man, just the way that that pops off the black. Ah, uh, man, done really well. Yeah. I'm impressed. Poor uh, man's naked. No doubt. Sorry I did not give you guys an on feet, but I'm sure if you follow me on socials, you'll see me rocking them. I'll probably be rocking them at the beginning of one of these sneaker videos, some mm. here and there, whatever. But this might be the best pickup I've ever, just as from value, from a value standpoint, and mm. Ultra Boost, fully custom for $165. And when I say fully custom, they were allowing you to do the heel cups. They were yeah. allowing you to do the stripes. They were allowing you to do pretty much everything on the shoe the other boost, than the insole. The outsole. Yeah, you could do the boost. You could do the outsole. Other than the torsion, the insole, yeah. and that and, little boost wording behind there. And you had the tongue label. Yeah, you, you could you, you could do, do the laces. tongue label. There were certain colors they wouldn't allow you to do on the cage and stuff like that, but it was still customizable. You could actually even customize whether you wanted a hard plastic TPU cage or you wanted the Clima cage. Yeah. I'm super geeked with these, man. I like these a lot. But let's jump into the on feats of both of the Ultra Boost mid, man. Like I said, we're going to continue to do these sneaker videos on top of the podcast so we can continue to grow. And uh, as always, thank you guys for supporting everything we do. I love the shit out of y'all, and I will see you fools tomorrow. Happy out in California with the wind windows down, bad honey's in the back, they rollin' weed by the pound, I hit the beach under the blue sky, smoking till we too hot, saying fuck the police, and laughing as they cruise by, yeah, and cool wind in my hair, see I be out in California, with the windows down, bitch, yeah, sunny California, the place where I was raised, home of them palm trees and bomb trees, fool, let's play. Hit up the liquor store, stop at El Atacor and Whittier while we out on tour. Fuck up a couple hours by store, and then we ghost into the ocean, got the plan in motion. Couple doobies for the ride, hell yeah, we smoking, soaking up the coast as we be coasting. Who got that potion? Smoking, drinking, cruising, vibing, West Coasting. Man, I love being back home, man. Beautiful weather. Beautiful women, good weed, yes sir.